What is good everybody? I am back with a brand new video and today we are going to be going over some pros and cons and if you should buy a Zuka cart. Before I had the Zuka cart, I carried around the B-Series grip bag. I carry about 22 to 23 discs in this bag. And this is the Ledgestone Compact Zuka cart. And I can carry all 23 discs in this cart. Although I do have to have a putter pouch that carries five discs up top. I have 17 discs down in the lower compartment here. Two mid-range have to kind of sit up on this little flat they have built in. I will say if I didn't buy this putter pouch, it would be some tight space. But there also is a couple pouches on the side that you can definitely jam discs into although I like to keep those for maybe my wallet keys my phone stuff like that my personal items I'd like to keep these pouches open so definitely if you're looking for the compact cart you can fit around 23 discs and you could probably double up on some of the pouches up top if you buy the infinite putter pouch now let's get into some actual pros and cons of the Zuka cart leading off with some pros it's super easy to wheel there's no resistance whatsoever so on the course you're not getting tired out while carrying your big old grip bag i think this is nice for big courses and small courses there's oftentimes i play local courses where i don't need that many discs so carrying around a big old grip bag all the time using only five to seven discs maybe on those smaller courses it kind of gets tiring carrying my big old grip bag as well as some of those longer courses carrying a bag just kind of gets tiring and so when you are able to just roll your bag it's way easier and way more simple so you don't get tired out during your round i think it's very helpful also the fact that these come with some seat covers and you can use the zuka cart to sit on i think is a huge key factor especially on those longer courses or if you're playing in a big group of people it is really nice to be able to kind of sit down you don't have to carry one of these little stools with you like you would have to do if you're just carrying your bag so one less thing to carry it again being able to roll it just that much easier the zuka cart does come with some cup holders on the back and you can easily tighten them and loosen them depending on how big of a bottle you have so that they aren't falling out a lot which is really nice one thing i do like about the compact cart is it easily fits in my trunk i don't have to worry about trying to fit one of those big xl carts that you kind of just put your grip bag into it's really easy to get this in and out of the trunk this handle can adjust lower into its body where it's easier to put in the trunk overall on the pro side of things it's really just about not having to carry as much being able to sit down not have to carry another stool it's just super simple to roll around the course and not get tired out it was really nice i caddied for my brother austin and he has a one of the xl zuka carts to put your bag into and it was pretty simple just wheeling around it depending on the courses that you're wheeling it around it could get a little bit more challenging and i'll get into that on the con side of things but it was pretty nice to kind of wheel around for him in a tournament setting you're out there a long time so being able to sit down uh, is actually a huge key factor without having to carry anything else so i definitely think we appreciate it on a tournament side of things being able to just kind of relax for a little bit calm down in between holes now moving on to the con side and whether this outweighs the pros that's where you're here to kind of decide for yourself but my biggest problem about a zuka cart is that when it is muddy i don't think it's worth rolling whatsoever the mud just clings to these tires so after your round you really really want either a tarp in your trunk or make sure you have a rag with you to clean the tires off because your trunk will get muddy your car if you're putting it in the back seat even worse gets really muddy one thing that you might not think about because i definitely didn't when i got the cart is that we're kind of in some cold uh, seasons right now so this handle gets absolutely freezing when you're out playing a cold round one of our buddies actually rolls his with some like bicycle handlebar grip and i would highly recommend you do that as well as in the summer this can get kind of toasty so to wrap that might be a really good idea i really wish on the compact car or i don't know if any of them really do but i wish there was at least one zipper pocket like i said there's some storage on the side here but to put your keys and your wallet in there, I just wish it would zip up instead of just kind of like placing them in there. It's not a super tight pocket. I don't know if they meant for this to be for your personal items or for your extra discs, but I do wish that there was some sort of more secure storage on the bag itself. Not that I think they're going anywhere, but I definitely think it would make me a little bit more comfortable if there was a zipper 
on the storage pockets. I'm getting down into like some nitty gritty things that uh, really could somewhat make a difference and be an annoyance for you guys, but it does come with a little wire. And if you have a putter pouch, you can hang your towels off. But if your towels are a little bit too long, you are gonna be kind of annoyed because they'll kind of get caught in the wheels. You'll have to always kind of place them over the seat here just so that they're out of the way. Nothing too drastic, but it does make a difference when you're having to constantly do this every time you're rolling your cart. So you might just want to get some shorter towels or fold your longer towels up and pin them. It can be an annoyance. I talked about how simple it is to roll, but that's only if you're on some flatter courses. Uh, once you get into the woods or there's creeks or there's a lot of hills like we played Jonesboro open one time I honestly can't imagine having a cart I don't know if Austin rolled his cart during that time I feel like he might have but that is a very hilly course and personally I would not want to drag this up the course I think it's way easier to have a grip bag to carry on something that's super hilly or if the woods are really rocky whatever it may be um, you're definitely gonna have to pick this up if there's not bridges it's not a heavy cart by any means but it is also something to think about. Is it worth the pros? Is it worth having the seat? Is it worth just rolling, not getting tired, carrying a big old bag just because you might have to pick it up on a few holes? If you're always playing courses where you have to go over stuff, we have to go over some water, you know, there's so sometimes out there there's creek beds with rocks that you kind of have to go over. Uh, if you're playing that on a daily basis and that's pretty much all you play, it honestly might not even be worth having this. And it's probably easier just to put the grip bag on your back just so you don't have to keep carrying this up and down like I said it's not super heavy but it is an annoyance sometimes if you get something like the compact Zuka cart you are gonna have to worry about kind of swapping your disc back and forth between your backpack and your cart I personally don't think it's too big of an issue but it's definitely something to think about depending on what kind of courses you're playing do I want to swap my discs out if the bag is easier to carry but you could also just get one of the XL carts and then you don't even have to swap your discs out overall if you're looking at something like this I would recommend you don't get rid of your backpack I think it's really still handy to have in case you need a flip-flop I know personally I'm really glad to have both anyway guys that is all I have for this video I hope this video kind of helped you kind of decide if you should get a Zuka cart or not. I know I got into a few things, especially like the towels getting in the way that it isn't that big of a deal, but it is something to consider and an annoyance on the course. So a few things that are kind of nitty gritty, but overall, I hope this video helped you. Make sure you go follow Chase and Chains underscore on Instagram where I post there daily and we'll see you on the next one.